So one of the most common questions I get is how do I keep a puppy engaged, or a dog in this case. Um, when you play and you're actually trying to build prey drive and getting the dog to engage with a toy, bring it back to you, build a, a stronger bite, a more confident bite, the first thing I always suggest to people is try not to jam the dog because this is no longer fun for the dog because now it's got this tug or a wedge smashed in her face. Nobody wants that. Um, the number one thing I do is I actually create prey drive. So as I play with the dog, I make this really fast, abrupt motion to get the dog to turn the prey drive on and make this more exciting. So when they do get it, it's something that they chase and they worked for versus something that's constantly fed into their face. So we're gonna start this off with a dog that is experienced and then I'll bring a dog that is just learning the engagement process. And what happens is I want the dog to hit the pillow and then I'm going to put my hand underneath the jaw to cause possession and, and build a better bite. And then I'm gonna let go of it and walk away and I'm gonna teach the dog to bring this pillow back to me. I'm gonna play with it and I'm gonna let go of the pillow. And again, I'm making the dog win the actual fight or the game and then it's gonna re-engage with me and bring the pillow back to me and I'm gonna do the same thing. I never wanna snatch it out of the dog's mouth because then the dog lost and it's no longer fun. So this is how I build prey drive, this is how I build a better bite, this is how I work on bite work prior to putting a dog on a decoy and doing agitation. Yes. Atta boy, good so. Woo, atta boy, Floki. Woo, atta boy, good so. Good. At all times, I want to continue to praise the dog. Good so, bra, Floki. Good so, good. This will cause possession and build a stronger bite. Good so, bra. Good, Floki, good. And I let go. Floki, good so, good. Good so, atta boy. Good, yeah, boy, good, so good. Play, play, let go, Flucky, good, so. And you see how he jammed the toy back to me because he knows that I am the fun and I'm causing this to be fun. Good boy, out of boy, Flucky, good, so good, good, out of boy, good, so brav. So Bella here doesn't have as much of a force behind her bites. It's up to me now to build it. She's got good drive, but doesn't understand the job quite yet. Okay, so I'll play with her. Again, watch what I'm doing with my left hand. Yes, yes, so bravo. Good, good, so good. See how it's a weak bite? I'm gonna build it, good, out of girl. Good, I'm making sure the bite is always full and possession, good. And then I always wanna make sure that I'm checking the puppy to see if her grip is still there. Good, good, so out of girl. Good, Bella, good, good, Bella, out of girl. Good, 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 Bella, good. Good girl. Good so brav. Atta girl. Good so good. 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 So by me checking, make sure. Nope. Oh, see? She loses it. And I'll make her work for it again. Good. Rebite it. Good. Good. Oh, good. Good girl. I let go of the pressure and I'm gonna check her in a second. Good. 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 And I'll let her win. Good. Bella. Get so brav. Not a girl. Good girl. Good. You see, without me, this toy is no fun. Good girl. They go static. Good. Bella. Good girl. Good. Bella. Good so. Not a girl. Good girl. Good. And now she's got a good grip. The engagement part ooh, is super important because then they end up hanging on to it harder and harder. Good girl. Good. Ooh, good girl. Good. Bella. Los. I'll wait for her to sit. Nay. Get some obedience and then. Yes. Good. So brav. Good, Bella. Atta girl. Good. Good. So brav. If there's one thing I really want you guys to get from this video is be fun with your dog. I get videos from clients all the time and they're so static with the toy and they can't figure out why their dog doesn't have any prey drive. If you don't cause the dog to move and make it fun, they're gonna look at you with, what do you want me to do with this thing? So continue to be the toy, sort of prey drive, the fun behind it, and the dog will engage with you. If you have a dog that comes off the bite really quick, start getting him confident and let him know it's okay. Lots of praise, lots of like, you see, like, I'm working out with this dog. Like I am running, I'm putting just as much energy as the dog is gonna put into this. And to make sure that the dog understands this is a fun activity. From here on, we start going into bite work, into agitation. Now the dog's got an actual solid bite. Make sure the bite is always all the way to the back of the teeth, not to the front, so we call it a shallow bite. We want a full bite. And then 
As you engage with the dog, lots of praise, let go, run away, and then teach the dog to come back to you, make it fun, let go. Try it out, let me know how it works for you guys.